for a guy, there are few places more relaxing than a barber shop, but it's a good idea to ask some basic questions. So Ronnie, my barber here, told me that before putting on the cape, I gotta put on a paper collar. And that's because how many people wear this thing every day? On a busy day, about 25. That's 25 sweaty necks. What else don't I know? First up, are you disinfecting your tools between clients? That blue stuff in those glass jars, well, that's barbicide, and it kills viruses and bacteria like hepatitis, staph, even HIV, but not every barber uses it. Your store is a food coloring instead of the actual barbicide. Yeah, the barbicide is very expensive, okay. and uh, food coloring is not. How do you know if they're cheating it or not? You could always go up to it and smell it. What would it smell like? A combination of uh, pneumonia and alcohol. As for the hair clippers, watch to make sure your barber is spraying them down with a disinfectant. Next, make sure your barber is using a brand new razor blade. There's barbers out there, they're using the same blade all day, all week. Really? If not all month. No! Yes. Watch the barber take the old one out, dispose of it properly, and get a fresh blade from a sealed package. Finally, do not let your barber use an electric shaver. The head of this right here, you don't change on every client. You're pretty much shaving everyone's sweat and bacteria. Yeah, because otherwise maybe you've saved some money, but now you're walking out with an infection. Permanent. A permanent infection. Barber's rash, as it's called, is painful and leaves lasting scars. So look for a current barber's license and don't be afraid to ask questions. Pampered and protected is what's on the lowdown.